What's up Nintendo Gamers, Takeda here with another Mario Kart 8 update. So the Mario Kart Wii U bundle is confirmed to be true. Nintendo of Europe revealed today and it comes with everything that comes in a Wii U premium pack. Also Mario Kart 8, the disc version, and also a Wii Karaoke U 7 day trial. That's not all. The official Nintendo of UK web store is also having two other bundles, the Team Mario or Team Luigi bundles for Mario Kart 8, which comes with the Mario Kart 8 bundle Wii U and also character specific items such as the Wii Wheel, Gamepad case, Wii Remote, a Mario hat or Luigi hat, and a guide for Mario Kart 8. So with that guys, that is the news. Let's get into my thoughts about everything that's been presented here. So I just want to point out that all of these bundles are the standard price that Wii U bundles are in these uh, respective uh, countries and, and all that. So if you guys are worried that these bundles are more pricier than they are um, for the regular editions of the Wii U with new Super Mario Brothers U or other game bundles, no, they are the same price, the standard same price as all the other bundles. So just to get that out of the way in case you guys weren't clear. Definitely look in the description to see where you guys can see the information at. So, guys, uh, yep, uh, I'm glad the bundle is real, but I'm also disappointed that it seems to only be for Europe and Australia. And, you know, um, I already said in a previous video, if Nintendo did that, that it would be really stupid. Of course, Nintendo can come out and say at any time that this is coming to North America and Japan, because I, I really do believe that especially Japan will get this deal uh, quite fast. And, you know, Mario Kart is already selling out a lot. So I think this will really boost sales in basically every country. So, uh if they if they don't have this in North America or Japan that's just that's a really stupid move and they will pay the price for that they'll see that because I'm, I'm not going to get really into it and I'm not trying to so sound very biased and just angry but there's a little bit too much favoritism in Europe and the UK just a little bit too much um, all these bundles great bundles you guys get and for me it's not that you know I don't want Nintendo to do that for these uh, th these countries it's that you know for how badly the Wii U in general is selling out there it's baffling to see so much cool things coming out there I know they're trying to boost sales some way somehow because uh, everybody pretty much knows in Europe and UK and all that the Wii U is pretty much dead out there but you know Nintendo they're they're not the only market and it, it just seems like you're focusing more on them even with the Mario Kart 8 news you know we got little things and confirmation on different tracks from uh, Nintendo of Europe and all that stuff. Nintendo of America seems like they're just somewhere falling asleep and they're not saying anything about Mario Kart uh, 8 or anything outside of that whole news blowout we had. But other than that, there's really no advertisement or anything, not as much as Europe. So what is going on with Nintendo America? They just seem to be just there sitting around sitting in their chairs spinning around not knowing what to do and then we have no information on anything not on a special edition mario kart uh eight bundle um which it comes with the whole um blue shell uh diorama or whatever you call it statue we don't have that europe has that but north america japan we don't have that um and you know now this here comes this premium pack bundle wii u bundle and where's Nintendo of America? Nowhere to make a peep of a sound about either of these things. So it's disappointing. 
I mean, I'm happy for everybody in the UK, Europe, and Australia. That's great. And these bundles look actually really cool. Um, I really like the Mario bundle uh, and the Luigi bundle. I, I, I wish I could find the Wii Will and the cases, um, you know, somewhere at GameStop because I will, I will purchase those. Those are really cool. I like those. But, you know, it, it just seems like North America and Japan are getting shafted a lot for how poorly this system sells in you know Europe and the UK and stuff so I don't know I mean I'm not saying it sells well everywhere I mean it sells pretty poorly in in um, Japan and I don't even know in North America um, I believe um, uh, the sales were 77,000 or something I don't know one of those um, uh, for the Wii U, but yeah, it just seems, it just seems weird, and Nintendo America, like I said, they're just way too quiet, and you know, they're known for this stuff with, um, out giving any type of bundles, but Europe has these bundles, let's just say that Nintendo of Europe is just better than Nintendo of America, they offer better things, better deals, you guys, even, I, I would say that you guys even have a better club nintendo you guys have you know soundtracks coming and stuff we don't have anything we have the same stuff we had for what almost five five four years or or three um at club nintendo it's barely anything changes but i don't know so um happy for you guys in in europe and uk and australia what do you guys think about this bundle uh what do you guys think here in north america uh about possibly not getting this bundle tell me that in the comments below um i'm definitely disappointed but i i am fully aware that nintendo of america can come out and say ho oh, hello we're giving you guys this and we're giving you that mario kart special uh blue shell bundle too so you know for now i'm upset but you know if they come out and say so and so i'll be happy but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. That's it for this update. I'll have more updates on Mario Kart 8 as more things are revealed. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next update.